Well folks, welcome to another Friday fishing forecast and it looks like we're going to have a great weekend weather wise. It looks like the winds are going to be up just a little bit, but not too bad. We also have the Kingfish tournament this weekend, the King of the Beach by Old Salt. I'm fishing it with um, the Sunray Marine fishing team, looking forward to doing that. I'm not a big king fishing guy, but uh, I'm going to go there and I'm going to put it all on video from start to finish and see how we end up. Hopefully, between all the knowledge on the boat, we'll be able to get some fish in the boat. I'm looking forward to fishing with some people I haven't fished with before, so it should be a good time. Like I said, the weather looks really, really good this weekend. Uh, the winds are going to be up just a little bit, but not horrible. So you should be able to get out, fish, fish in the bay. Uh, fishing's on fire right now, especially offshore. The fishing's on fire for hogfish, grouper, bunch of stuff going on there. The bite's really good inshore for snook, redfish, trout. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the Friday fishing forecast and talk about the tides and salooners for this weekend. Okay, on Saturday, we have a low tide at 5.52 a.m. at a 0.66 foot. Then we have a high tide at 12.12 p.m. at a 1.94 foot. Then we have a low tide at 5.55 p.m. at a 0.81 foot. On Sunday, we have a low tide at 5.40 a.m. at a 0.33 foot. Then we have a high tide at 12.11 p.m. at a 1.84 foot. Then we have a low tide at 5.21 p.m. at a 1.01 foot. Now, as you can probably see, the times are a little bit different on Sunday than Saturday. It's because we are turning back the clocks for fall, so we gain an hour of sleep, but it gets dark earlier, which stinks. I wish that they would go ahead and, and make it daylight savings time the entire year to just make it easier on people because the adjustment going from getting dark at at least 6.30 right now to 5.30, 5.15 stinks. So that's why you see the tide difference, our time, tide, not tide, time difference between Saturday and Sunday. Let's go ahead and get into the salooners. On Saturday, we have a major feeding time from 10.09 a.m. to 12.09 p.m. Then we have a minor feeding time from 4.44 p.m. to 5.44 p.m. Then on Sunday, we have a major feeding time from 9.54 a.m. to 11.54 a.m. And a minor feeding time from 4.16 p.m. to 5.16 p.m. And like I said, this weekend I will be fishing the king of the beach. Actually, I'm filming this on Thursday because I'm going fishing on Friday with Chad, uh, Ernie, and Katie. And so I needed to film this ahead of time. And then Saturday I'll be fishing the king of the beach. So we'll have some, some good, good video coming up. I want to say thank you to everybody that uh, responded back about the hogfish video. Everything hogfish. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend uh, watching that video. It, it gets very detailed about what hogfish are all about, how we look to go and catch them, what we look for, what we're using for bait, how fast do they grow, uh, you know, what's their distribution, where are they located, things like that. So it's a pretty, it was a pretty interesting video to do. It took me a little longer to do that video than I expected, but I want to start doing videos like that on particular fish. So if there's a particular fish that you want me to talk about that you see us catching, then please let me know if it be lane snapper, if it be mangrove snapper, red grouper, gag grouper. Um, if you're interested in that, please let me know and I'll start doing these more educational videos talking about the type of fish that we're going after. Like as soon as gag stops, we'll probably turn and start fishing for red grouper because they'll open up and we can talk about that and what their habitat is like and what they look for, what they eat, things like that. So. Thank you very much for letting me know that you really enjoyed that video. Uh, and like I said, I'll be fishing the King of the Beach. It's the largest Kingfish tournament in the Southeast. It's the highest payout and there's a lot of people that are fishing it. I'm going to the captain's meeting. Sorry, there's fish busting behind me. <laughs> I'm going to the captain's meeting tonight. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody for, for you know, continuing to support us, continuing to buy our product. We really appreciate it. Fish more, catch more, and we'll see you on the flip side.